Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, respected elders, brothers and sisters. Firstly, I would like to thank you and welcome you for joining me in this journey where we continue our discussion, our summary of the book Najmus Saqib, written by the famous scholar Muhaddas Nuri. One who dies without knowing of or about the Imam of his time dies the death of a jahil. So the initiative taken to come up with a book like this where the entire life of the Imam has been summarized is a great initiative and one should read the book to know more about the Imam of our time. Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. Continuing with our discussion where we are speaking about the distinctive qualities of Imam Zamana alayhi salam. We have uh, 48 mentioned in the book, but we have attempted to speak about 12. Have completed 6 till our last discussion. Today we shall do 7, 8, 9 out of the 12. Point number 7 says that Imam Zamana alayhi salam will dispense justice among the people according to the divine hidden knowledge. There is a hadith regarding this from Imam Jafar Sadiq alayhi salam where he says, When the Qaim of Ali Muhammad alayhi salam arises, he will judge according to the judgment of Prophet Dawood and Prophet Sulaiman alayhi salam and he will not ask for any evidence. A point number 8 from this book says, speaks about the exposition of all parts of knowledge. Again, the hadith from Imam Jafar Sadiq alayhi salam, where he says that knowledge consists of 27 parts or 27 letters and all that the prophets brought with them were just two parts. People have not received to date more than two letters. And when our Qayyim arises, he would bring another 25 letters or parts and spread them among the people, which would complete the entire 27 parts of the knowledge. Point number 9, which speaks about some resurrected persons will accompany the Imam alayhi salam when he arises. Sheikh Mufid in his book Kitab al-Irshad mentions 27 per uh, persons from the people of Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, 7 from the companions of the cave, Yusha bin Noon, Salman, Abu Dujana Ansari, Miqdad and Malike Ashtar, peace be upon them, will be the companions of Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. How do we get a chance to be among the companions or the helpers of our Imam? Sayyid Ali ibn Ta'us has narrated again from Imam Jafar Sadiq alayhi salam that the one who recites Dua'i Ahad for 40 mornings will be among the helpers of the Qaim alayhi salam. If he dies before the reappearance of the Imam, the Almighty Allah will resurrect him from the grave. Inshallah, next week we shall conclude this discussion of the distinctive qualities of our Imam and proceed further with our next chapters. Till then, thank you. Khuda Hafiz.